an encouragement and a protection for him. And now I will tell you the truth. Behold, three more kings are going to arise in Persia. Then the fourth will gain far more riches than all of them. As soon as he becomes strong through his riches, he will arouse the whole empire against the realm of Greece. And a mighty king will arise and he will rule with great authority and do as he pleases. But as soon as he has arisen, his kingdom will be broken up and parceled out to one of the four points of the compass, though not to his own descendants, or according to his authority, which he wielded. For his sovereignty will be uprooted and given to others besides them. Then the king of the south will grow strong, along with one of his princes, who will gain ascendancy over him and obtain dominion. His domain will be a great dominion indeed. After some years they will form an alliance, and the daughter of the king of the south will come to the king of the north to carry out a peaceful arrangement. But she will not retain her position of power, nor will he remain with his power. But she will be given up, along with those who brought her in, and the one who sired her as well as he who supported her in those times. But one of the descendants of her line will rise in his place, and he will come against their army and enter the fortress of the king of the north, and he will deal with them and display great strength. Also the gods with their metal images And their precious vessels of silver and gold He will take into captivity to Egypt And he on his part will refrain from attacking The king of the north for some years Then the latter will enter the realm of the king of the south But will return to his own land sons will mobilize and assemble a multitude of great forces, and one of them will keep on coming and overflow and pass through, that he may again wage war up to his very fortress. The king of the south will be enraged and go forth and fight with the king of the north. Then the latter will raise a great multitude, but that multitude will be given into the hand of the former. When the multitude is carried away, his heart will be lifted up, and he will cause tens of thousands to fall, yet he will not prevail. For the king of the north will again raise a greater multitude than the former, and after an interval of some years, he will press on with a great army and much equipment. Now in those times, many will rise up against the king of the south The violent ones among your people will also lift themselves up in order to fulfill the vision But they will fall down Then the king of the north will come, cast up the siege ramp And capture a well-fortified city and the forces of the south will not stand their ground Not even their choicest troops For there will be no strength to make a stand But he who comes against him will do as he pleases And no one will be able to withstand him He will also stay for a time in the beautiful land With destruction in his hand He will set his face to come with the power of his whole kingdom Bringing with him a proposal of peace which he will put into effect He will also give him the daughter of women to ruin it But she will not take a stand for him or be on his side Then he will turn his face to the coastlands and capture many but our commander will put a stop to his scorn against him Moreover, he will repay him for his scorn So he will turn his face toward the fortresses of his own land But he will stumble and fall and be found no more
Yeah, within a few days he will be shattered Though not in anger nor in battle In his place a despicable person will arise On whom the honor of kingship has not been conferred But he will come in a time of tranquility And seize the kingdom by entreaty The overflowing forces will be flying away Also, the Prince of the Covenant After an alliance is made with him He will practice deception And he will go up and gain power With a small force of people Against strongholds, but only for a time He will stir up his strength and courage against the king of the south With a large army So the king of the south will mobilize an extremely large and mighty army for war But he will not stand For schemes will be devised against him Those who eat his choice food will destroy him and his army will overflow, but many will fall down slain. As for both kings, their hearts will be intent on evil. And they will speak lies to each other at the same table. But it will not succeed, for the end is still to come at the appointed time. Then he will return to his land with much plunder But his heart will be set against the holy covenants And he will take action and then return to his own land So he will come back and show regard for those who forsake the holy covenant Forces from him will arise, desecrate the first sanctuary fortress And do away with the regular sacrifice And they will set the abomination of desolation By smooth words he will turn to godlessness those who act wickedly toward the covenant But the people who know their God Will display strength and take action Those who have been signed among the people Will give understanding to the many Yet they will fall by sword and by flame By captivity and by plunder for many days To refine, purge, and make them pure until the end time Because it's still to come at the appointed time So he will come back 
and show regard for those who forsake the holy covenant. For shit, some kids him will come against him, therefore he will be disheartened and will return and become enraged at the holy covenant to take action. So he will come back and show regard for those who forsake the holy covenant. 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 Moses from the Moorwise, desecrate the sanctuary fortress and do away with the regular sacrifice. And they will set up the abomination of desolation. By smooth words, he will turn to godlessness those who act wickedly toward the covenant. But the people who know their God will display strength and take action. Those who have insight among the people will give understanding to them. Then the king will do as he pleases, and he will exalt and magnify himself above every god, and will speak monstrous things against the god of gods. And he will prosper until the indignation is finished, for that which is decreed will be done. He will show no regard for the gods of his fathers or for the desire of women. No will he show regard for any other god, for he will magnify himself above them all. Instead, he will honor a god of fortresses, a god who his fathers did not know. He will honor him with gold, silver, costly stones, and treasures. He will take action against the strongest of fortresses. With the help of a foreign god, he will give great honor to those who acknowledge him and will cause them to rule over the many and will parcel out land for a price. At the end time, the king of the south will collide with him. The king of the north will storm against him with chariots, with horsemen and with many ships. And he will enter countries, overflow them and pass through. He will also enter the beautiful land and many countries will fall. But these will be rescued out of his hand. Edom, Moab and the foremost of the sons of Ammon. Then he will stretch out his hand against other countries And the land of Egypt will not escape But he will gain control over the hidden treasures of gold and silver And over all the precious things of Egypt And Libyans and Ethiopians will follow at his heels But rumors from the east and from the north will disturb him And he will go forth with great wrath to destroy and annihilate many he will pitch the tents of his royal pavilion Between the seas and the beautiful holy mountain Yet he will come to his end and no one will help him